Uh, well, first of all, just just checked in on Ashlyn. Um, besides being a little bit sore, I think uh, I think we're out of the woods on that one. It was a little scary. Anytime you have a head or a neck injury, there's always some concern there. Um, but in in general, looking back on the game, I mean, I think we put ourselves in the hole a little bit. Uh, I, you know, our start was not what we would hope for, but um, for the team to battle back and to deal with that adversity and for the people who came into the match, um, I thought there were some really strong performances from the reserves. Uh, I'd like to shout out Erin McLeod. That's a tough situation to go into and her composure was incredible. Um, obviously Taylor gets a goal coming off the bench. I thought Tony Presley played a big role coming off the bench as well. So, um, it's great to see our reserves making such an impact. Yeah. It, it was interesting because I thought we had a good warm up, but, um, I think, you know, our, it was a little bit of confidence. It was a little bit of tempo. Um, you know, it's definitely something we're going to go back and evaluate because uh, we, we just can't have that kind of start and expect to get good results. Well, if I knew the answer to that, <laughs> I'd be paid a lot more money. Um, but I think in the end, um, you know, when we had the water break, we had a chance to sort of recompose ourselves, remind ourselves of what we do well. And I think that helped um, sort of settle us a little bit but at the same time um, helped us dictate tempo a little bit more. Um, how we get that from the beginning, I think that's something that we'll be really looking at this week and trying to change that um, for our next match. Well, it was interesting because when she came in, um, we were down. And so, you know, instead of having her play with as a six and play for us to play with two sixes, we asked her to play kind of like a, a six slash 10 and sort of hybrid it and then and, you know, with more emphasis being on the 10. And I think she did a pretty good job with that. Um, she put herself in some dangerous positions, but she also still came and connected the back line um, with our midfield too. So she's got a lot of potential in that position. I'm excited to see her growth. And considering the fact that, you know, this is a relatively new switch for her, I think she's made really good strides. Well, Erin is a remarkable member of this team. Um, and I think her energy on the bench, I hear her all the time. Um, and she knows what the team needs, which is what's amazing. You know, sometimes it's calming presence. Sometimes it's energy. Um, I just think she has a real pulse on what we need, but then for her to go in, in that situation where you're coming off cold off the bench and stepping into such a tight game and for her to have the composure she did with her distribution. Um, I thought that was very, very impressive, but it just, uh, I think a testament to the mature player that she is. Hi coach Becky. Um, it was a great performance by the Orlando pride tonight. Um, one quick question. Uh, when it comes to the defense, what can we do uh, to improve defensively against Racing Louisville coming up? Uh, it's going to be a tough matchup. Yeah, it is. I mean, I think there are no easy matchups in this entire league. Um, there's quality forwards across the board. And I think for us, um, some of it is is self-induced. You know, we've got to we've got to really make sure that we're a little bit safer with the ball. Um, I think part of it is, again, it's like, tempo and how quickly we play out of our feet, the speed of play that we play with in our decision-making. And I mean, I know those are all basics and it sounds kind of a little bit like coach speak, but it's more of just um, getting used to how we're trying to play out of the back and making sure that we do that on a consistent basis.